So some of them will be um, and have been found to be inaccurate and not very good. But that's why there's this big um, process of making sure that tests are validated and verified, not only um, in South Africa, but internationally. So there are organizations and institutes that are looking at all the rapid tests that people want to sell and want to make commercially available. They go through a very stringent um, verification validation process. And we're monitoring very carefully what's happening elsewhere in the world, internationally, and our South African um, organizations that monitor this, our regulatory auth um, um, authorities, are then in addition doing additional testing here in South Africa. So they will allow for some rapid tests that have internationally been accepted or that look good when we look at the paper and we look at um, the dossiers and the documentation that these tests have. And then there will be further validation and verification that happens within South Africa to make sure that the quality of these tests are good enough for their purpose.